Welcome to PowerPoint Practice 1. To begin, start PowerPoint and notice how it opens in Backstage View. Under Themes, select the Facet theme. If the Facet theme is not visible, use the search to locate it. Select the second color variant, which is light blue, and then select Create. If PowerPoint does not open in Backstage View, select the File button to show Backstage View, and then select Blank Presentation. Then, on the Design tab, select the Facet theme. Select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your PowerPoint folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the presentation as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore PowerPoint, underscore practice, underscore one. Take a moment to view the PowerPoint window. Notice that the layout of slide one is title and content. This is a common layout for the title slide. All text, graphics, videos, or anything that is on a slide must be in a placeholder. In the click to add title placeholder, type Welcome Pumas. In the subtitle placeholder, type Fall New Student Orientation. On the Design tab in the Themes group, ensure under Variants, blue colors are selected. This is the second color variant. Although we only have our title slide added, most presentations have several slides. When creating your presentation, keep in mind the attention span of your audience and the allocated amount of time. For this presentation, we have been allotted no more than 10 minutes and will create 5 slides. On the View tab, in the Presentation Views, notice that Normal View is selected. This is the most common view when creating your presentation. Other views are Outline View, Slide Sorter, Notes Pages, Reading View, and Slideshow. On the Home tab, in the Slides group, select the arrow next to New Slide and select Title and Content. In the Click to Add Title placeholder, type Student Life. With Slide 2 still active, on the Home tab in the Slides group, select the arrow next to Layout and select To Content. Notice how the layout of Slide 2 changed. In the first Content placeholder on the left, type the following, pressing Enter after each line. Format the text as a bulleted list with the default bullet. Change the font size of the text to 28. In the second placeholder to the right, Use the placeholder shortcut to insert an online picture. To insert an online picture. In the Insert Pictures dialog box, use the Bing Image Search to search for a picture of students. Choose any picture of college students and insert it into the placeholder. Note, your picture may vary from the one shown in the example. With slide 2 displayed, in the status bar, click Notes. Notice that the Notes pane displays below the slide pane. In the Notes pane, type the following. Note, it may be necessary to enlarge the notes pane so that the entire pane is viewable. To do this, place your cursor on the line that separates the notes pane from the slides pane. When your cursor displays a double-sided arrow pointing up and down, select and hold and drag up or down to resize the notes pane. On the Home tab in the Slides group, select New Slide and choose the Title and Content layout. For the title, type Athletics. In the Content placeholder, Type the following bulleted list. Resize the text to 28 and use the default bullet. With slide 3 still active, on the Insert tab in the Illustration group, select the arrow next to Shapes. Under Stars and Banners, add the Explosion 1 shape to the right of the bulleted list. Click and drag the shape onto the slide. Inside the shape, type the text Find Us on Social Media at Puma Athletics. Use the sizing handle to turn the explosion shape slightly to the left and move it so that it is in line with the text. Use the grids to align the image. Note the sizing handle is located above the shape when it is selected. It looks like a circle with an arrow pointing to the right. With the explosion graphics still selected, on the Drawing Tools Format tab in the Shape Styles group, select the colored fill blue accent 2 shape style. Your slide 3 should look like this. On the Home tab, in the Slides group, select New Slide and choose Picture with Caption Layout. In the Picture placeholder, click to add a picture. Browse to your data files and insert the image PowerPoint Practice 1. On the Picture Tools Format tab, in the Size group, select the arrow under Crop and select Fit. Select the placeholder below the image and enter the following title. 
change the font size of the second text placeholder to 36. With slide 4 still active, ensure the notes pane displays. In the notes section, add the following speaker notes. Your slide 4 should look like this. On the Home tab, in the Slides group, select New Slide and choose Blank Layout. Ensure Slide 5 is active. On the Insert tab, in the Text group, select the arrow under WordArt and select WordArt in the second row, second column, Gradient Fill Green Accent and Reflection. Type the text. Any questions? Change the font size of the WordArt to 72. Display Slide 1. On the Insert tab in the text group, select Header and Footer to display the Header and Footer dialog box. Notice there are two tabs, Slide and Notes and Handouts. On the Notes and Handouts tab, check the box next to Date and Time. Ensure the text box next to Page Number is also selected. Click Apply to All. Select the File tab to display Backstage View. Select Print to view the print options. Although PowerPoint slides are meant for presentations, there is the option to print slides for the presenter and participants. Click Full Page Slides and then choose Notes Pages. Scroll through the slides and notice that slides 2 and 4 are displaying the notes. Select Notes Pages and choose 6 slides horizontal. Notice how the data and page number displays on the slide in Print Preview. It is not necessary to print the presentation. Save your presentation and take note of where it is located. There should be a total of five slides in your slide deck. Compare your presentation to the example and make any modifications if needed. Close out of PowerPoint and submit your entire presentation per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.